Yo, it's Cam. Uh, oh. See, it's me. Uh, get used to wearing those things. Uh, how's it going? It's been a while since I've been updating uh, this blog, sharing uh, happenings and stuff in Abu Dhabi. You'd think that having a year of sometimes living in quarantine, sometimes working from home, sometimes uh, not leaving home for weeks at a time. You'd think that that would make me want to blog more, but the creative juices have not been flowing. Uh, I have a really good joke about procrastination that I could share right now, but I will get to it later. Uh, sorry, I blacked out there for a second. I've already posted a few things on my blog, so I'm trying to get back into it. My last few months here in Abu Dhabi, I posted about our last trips that I was able to take, not last Christmas, God, no, the Christmas before when my roommate and I went to Thailand and Vietnam, so there's videos of that up. Uh, there's a video of a tour of our apartment, and there's a post about big news here lately about uh, the UAE landing a, or not landing, but uh, getting a probe to orbit Mars and take pictures and get information and all that sciencey stuff uh, for science. So that's pretty cool. I just wanted to do a quick video talking about what it's been like the past year with coronavirus here and COVID. Overall, it felt a lot safer here than I would in the United States. And so I just wanted to kind of outline what the whole process has kind of been like for us here. So it kind of started like a little, almost a year ago, or a little less than a year ago, sorry, I'm good at uh, dates. Uh, <laughs> so around March, I think it was, I actually remember the last time like I went to a social thing, it was St. Patrick's Day, a party at my friend's house, and after that, our spring break got moved up by two weeks, so we had our spring break when things started uh, getting bad, like bad. We at this point we only had like a thousand cases coming out daily, but uh, moved our spring break up. We had two weeks of virtual learning, and then uh, at the end of March decided on virtual learning for the rest of the year. So we were at home on our computers using Microsoft Teams, teaching uh, from basically spring break until the end of the year last year. We had a lockdown in the spring for a while, so mosques were closed, uh, flights were grounded, uh, malls and movie theaters and all that stuff was closed, which is a big deal here, closing malls. Uh, they disinfected the streets nightly with big spray things, and there's a curfew from 8, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. every day. So we had to be home by 10 p.m. unless you got a, like a special clearance thing. Um, so that was in the spring. Uh, I was able to get a flight home for the summer and spent the summer with my family. We went to a cabin in the uh, Door County area of Wisconsin. So that was a cool social distancing type of trip. Uh, we were just able to hang out on the water and be together. So that was nice. Um, so I came back in September for this school year. We started with uh, virtual learning for a month and then we brought back elementary kids and then in the high school we went to a hybrid model so we had a group of students and a B group. The A group came for a full week, then were off, and the B group then started, and then they were off, and the A group came back, so on and so forth. That lasted for a few weeks, and then I got a call from an administrator at school saying that a student in my class had 
tested positive. And since I was in proximity of them for over 15 minutes, I had to go on lockdown. So I went into the main uh, testing center in Abu Dhabi. There's a lot of them, but this was kind of like the main big hub. I went there and I had to get a monitoring bracelet put on me. And uh, I think we'll now go to uh, past Cam to show you the bracelet and talk a little bit about his experience. Thanks, past Cam. Looking good. Um, so I actually got my second negative test result back last night, which means that today I get to go get my uh, tracking bracelet off. Uh, before I go though, I just wanted to show you how it works. So this is what it looks like normally. Um, it actually does have a clock on there, which um, kind of impressed me for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so uh, sometimes it beeps. Uh, I didn't leave ever, but sometimes it just randomly goes off. It hasn't for a couple days, so that's good. Uh, as you can see, it's very resplendent. Got a shiny metal band. Um, and so an added accessory that I got um, for this bad boy was uh, this uh, charger, which plugs in. So they want us to keep the bracelet at 80% all the time. So when it gets down to there, just snap this nifty guy on the blue light shows that it is charging up and uh, now it looks like I am on house arrest. Um, all of this came in a very fancy little Department of Health tote bag which I thought was another nice touch. Um, the This part is actually screwed in like they have a screwdriver and they screw it in and a funny story, uh, my second day of having this, um, they must not have screwed it in tight enough because there was a little gap. And uh, I was watching the first Badgers game of the year, maybe the last one. Let's hope not. Um, and um, I was excited. We were doing good. And I like went like this, and the corner of it like got on the corner of a door or something and it uh, broke apart and fell off and uh, I panicked I called the number that they gave us and I was like I'm not trying to run away um, I'm in my house I haven't left uh, I'm not fleeing um, and they told me to come in I went to the same place they screwed it back in I made sure they screwed it in extra tight and uh, applied for a moving permit so I wouldn't get in trouble for leaving. And uh, since then, we haven't really had any issues. It's been pretty sturdy. Um, so that is my bling. Um, just wanted to show it off. And uh, soon, I am going to be going back and getting it taken off, uh, which means I can go places again which also means that I have to learn how to talk and communicate with people in person, um, which is enough of a struggle as it is, uh, but uh, we'll get there somehow. Uh, thanks for listening. This has been the demonstration portion of the video. Um, back to you, uh, Future Cam. Great, thanks, Past Cam, but I think you're confused on Future Cam. Uh, but it's okay, your mind is all messed up from being in quarantine for two weeks. So go get that bracelet off, guy. So that was in November when I got that off. We've stayed, uh, there hasn't been a lot of changes until recently. We were virtual for a while, all the way through winter break. Um, things opened up. Um, in the fall, uh, but still at capacity. So restaurants and stuff were all open, but uh, can only sit four at a table. And uh, obviously not as many people were allowed. Um, 
a lot more precautions as far as cleaning and wearing masks and whatever. So all this year, masks have been required everywhere, and I haven't seen a lot of people complaining about that, unlike older places. Um, and uh, it's been pretty normal so far this year, besides the masks and besides making sure to social distance and be careful. Uh, until recently, our numbers started going up. So they ballooned in January uh, to like over 4,000 daily for the first time. Um, at this point now in February, they're down to like a little over 3,000 daily cases. Um, we had 17 deaths the other day, which is a high. Right now they're around like 14 daily deaths from the information I uh, have seen. And uh, there's, we're back in school as of this week. We've been virtual since uh, October until this week. We started with a hybrid schedule again. And we'll see what happens a lot. Middle schoolers have been at home the whole year so far. So there's a lot of middle schoolers here, obviously, in the hybrid schedule. So they're not um, packed into a room. But a lot of my high schoolers are opting to stay at home. They were here for a little bit and saw kind of how it worked. It's really not a conducive way to teach and learn this hybrid thing. You have, uh, in some cases, half on your screen, half here. Like, it's hard to try to figure out who to focus on. Um, it's hard to hear the people at home. It's hard to... Uh, explaining things to people at home, you forget that the people here are, oh, there's people in my room. That's cool humans um, in the flesh. Uh, so it's weird. We'll see what happens uh, with it. Um, we just, we had to get a test this week, so uh, hopefully we don't get any positive cases and we can stay open. Uh, the big news I also wanted to share with this video is that I am, as a last Thursday, uh, vaccinated. So our first one, they came to school in the 18th of January. Um, school came and then uh, they've been trying to ration vaccines for older people here and locals. So they did not come to school for a second one, but we found a clinic close by where we were able to get our second uh, dose also for free and uh, I just wanted to point out the nurse that gave me mine his name is I don't want to show all my information but his name was Ryan John Geronimo so um, RJ Geronimo uh, thanks for the hookup and for the shot I barely felt it it was like the least painful shot I've ever had so um, RJ Geronimo uh, here's to you buddy. Uh, thanks for the hookup. Um, so I think overall UAE is doing a good job trying to stop the spread, getting viruses out, uh, getting, making it easy for people to test. There's tons of drive-in places, walk-in places. I went yesterday and it took me five minutes to um, get through the line and there it wasn't like empty there are people going through there's just a lot of workers and it was super efficient um, so uh, overall like I said at the beginning uh, bringing it back around uh, I feel safe here and I feel um, like the country is doing a pretty good job overall in keeping people safe and trying to take this disease seriously and uh, the general population is not uh, like against those steps that the government is taking, which is also a cool thing. Uh, and uh, I promise that a government official is not staring at me right now with a uh, bow and arrow uh, making me do this uh, on camera by force. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, that hopefully gives a little perspective of, uh, about what life has been like here in the UAE during COVID. Um, 
if you have any follow-up questions or want to know more or uh, want to uh, try to get in contact with Ryan John Geronimo, um, let me know, leave a comment or whatever. And uh, I'm hoping to keep uh, posting more regularly for the rest of my time here, which will be until uh, late June. So uh, stay tuned. I guess that's what people say. Um, and yeah, I've been talking for too long, so I'm going to stop. Peace, stay safe, wear a mask, wash your butts.